Hey everybody, it's Crazy Fangirl Shimey. More Shimey today than usual, um, as we always do. And this is the end of 2023 review. <laughs> sort of sounds like I'm working a job and I'm doing a review. For <laughs> Where do I even begin? 2023, I think, has been a whirlwind, I think, for all of us in general. And yeah, this year, I think... Honestly, I thought last year was worse in content creation for me, but this year... I think it was worse this year. <laughs> and I hate to start on a really difficult note, but oh my god. Honestly, I've been feeling so disappointed with myself these past few months in terms of my content creation. I spoke about this a few times when I'm streaming, but I wanted to discuss it more in this one just because I, I knew I wasn't going to get back into it as much as I wanted to when I was streaming, so I didn't want to get people's hopes up. So let's dive into the year of 2023 and let's get into it. So I think the beginning of the year we started very well. We had a lot of reactions that we did to a lot of different shows from memory. We did a lot. Um, Last of Us and then Mandalorian and then I think we also did, was it Legend of Vox Machina as well? I'm just gonna check because from memory I cannot remember exactly what we did at the beginning of the year so why not just go back and have a look. Also, I apologize because I'm not using my stand because I don't have my usual setup today. But I thought it would be more intimate to just hold it, so I hope it sounds alright, guys. Let's have a look. Oh my god, it's so short to the point where I can just go back to last year's review. My god, that's so embarrassing. So yeah, we did Legend of Vox Machina, then we did The Last of Us, and then it was The Mandalorian. And then it was nothing. <laughs> and I, yeah, I don't know, like, I just, I think it was a mixture of things that happened this year, I think. Um... I guess I want to talk about why I didn't react a lot this year. I think it was sort of what I discussed last year, which was like a little bit- I'm not sure if I did actually. I've been talking about it a lot this year though, where it was like I lost my love a little bit for reactions, which broke my heart because, you know, I've been doing this for so many years and it felt like not only disappointing you guys, but it felt like I was disappointing myself, especially after we did such an incredible, like, you know, Last of Us, Legend of Vox Machina, and then we did Mandalorian. Um, I thought those shows were okay, but, like, in terms of reacting after that, I think, what other shows were there? I think there were some other shows that people were asking me to react to. Yeah, the Bad Batch and stuff. But, yeah, just this year, it didn't happen, and it was really disappointing, and... I felt really disappointed in myself mainly because like I, I wanted to come back so many times it's just the inspiration wasn't there and the drive wasn't there like it usually was and I just yeah unfortunately I just wasn't up to doing it. As people know I have a lot of stuff going on with mental health or like just you know it's something that I, I deal with a lot. I think early this year was good. I made some really good um, progress with my mental health and then we had a few bumps in the year. Um, and I think one of that was, like, I, I started to become a hermit again early in the year. Um, I think it was, like, February to, not February, I think it was March to April or May. I think it was, like, yeah, just in that near the mid-year point. And then I started to get better because, again, I've been going to therapy for a long time. So therapy was helping a lot um, and just, yeah, it was a lot. But I feel really proud with how much sort of like progress I made in that time. But at the same time, my main worry was the community. Um, you guys always still I would see people making comments and liking videos and, you know, it was so nice to still know that I had a community to come back to, which was Again, it was such a blessing, and I'm so blessed to have this community. I say this all the time, but I always feel like I'm letting people down. And not only that, again, like, I feel like I'm letting myself down just because of how much work it's taken to get to this point, and to also have a- it feels like I have a responsibility to everybody, and when I don't fulfill it, it feels like I'm letting everybody down. So I am- I do apologize for not being around a lot this year, like, this early- early in the year we did a good job. But then we sort of fell off the bandwagon and it didn't start up again in terms of reaction videos. Video games and streaming, we did quite a bit of it. Not a lot, but we still were able to fill in periods of months. But again, I do apologize to the people who are on my channel following me for the reactions and I didn't do them. I'm really, really sorry. I do apologize. I, I don't want to make the promise of doing that again next year because I'm still in the process of sort of getting my love back. I do have some big news, I guess, I'll say it now. I 
I have a PC. I saved up some money, put it away, and invested in a really good PC. I'm now in the midst of trying to learn how to stream, how to record myself, and I guess make the content a lot easier. Especially because I have these new tools, it should be a lot easier to do reactions and such, so I'm hoping it will help. It's just I need to learn how to work it all out and how to make it work because I see people doing it all the time and I'm like how do you guys do it I want to know so I'm in the process of learning it again I won't make a promise of when this will sort of like be fulfilled and like when we'll get back to doing reaction videos to tv shows movies and video games like properly but I hope you guys can really be patient with me and I, I hope I can come back strong and do something new for you guys. For video game streaming, we did a lot. We did Final Fantasy, um, I'm trying to remember what other games, because I, I, I was mixing up the years and I thought Horizon came out this year, unless it did and I'm just like forgetting. Um, let's see, no, Hogwarts came out. That's what it was. That's what I'm mixing up the years. Hogwarts Legacy came out, really enjoyed it, but also I think it did wear off after a while just because of the nostalgia and also that time, because that was 10 months ago, that was around the time when things started to go downhill in my mental health and when my love for like streaming and stuff started to drop. A lot of things happened at that time too in my personal life, which I'll get into later, but it was just a lot and I was like, you know what, I just need to step away and do what I do best and s do what I do best. It's so toxic, but become a hermit again, which is so bad. It's a very toxic thing that I'm still working through. And anyway, that did affect the streaming stuff a lot until Final Fantasy came out, which again, we'll find out. We'll talk about that in a bit, but that happened. And I, I am happy with how those streams went. And I am so grateful to everyone who joined in. The audiences that popped up, especially for Final Fantasy, which I was so shocked. Final Fantasy and then Spider-Man 2. You guys were insane. Like, what the hell, man? I remember looking, like, sometimes I'd glance over and there's like... 25 people in the chat or there's 25 people like watching or whatever i'm like what what on earth like what did i do to deserve this and then the people who came through were so nice and generous there were some people who spoil you all know who you are and i don't like you <laughs> there's a special place for you guys who like to um ruin things for people but for the people who were genuinely nice, came in and had great conversation and was just so sweet. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. And for also subscribing. Like, you guys, it means a lot when people come in, watch me stream, and they're like, I'm going to subscribe to you. Like, again, like, I, it, I don't fathom it because I do streaming and all this stuff because I enjoy it. And when I have an audience, I'm like, oh my god, like, people actually like what I do. I still don't get it. And I'm still... I don't know, I think it's that imposter syndrome crap that you go through, I guess, and it's just like, ugh, you know, you can't believe that people like the stuff that you're doing. So I guess let's go into my personal life a little bit, like not a lot, but <laughs> I guess we'll go into it a little bit. As I said, mental health, I think we made a lot of improvement this year in terms of like, mm, how do I say it? I don't know. In terms of like, meeting goals like the goals I had personally I was able to meet them with my therapist which was so nice and just to know that I was making progress was really nice there's still a lot of work to be done um but I'm proud with how much progress I made um however it did lead to me cutting off a lot of people and also just facing people for certain things like I I don't have that bravery ever but this year I think I met my tolerance for like you know bullshit meter like okay I'm freaking done like what stop like I put a f quite a few boundaries up with certain people and it was hard but then it felt good and it was like oh okay well that's how it feels like that's it's supposed to feel like this so it was really nice like again I'm not very good with that sort of stuff I think for a lot of years I've been in survival mode so actually learning to do that put my boundaries up and, you know, sort of set the terms of like, no, you don't get to treat me like this. Th that's it. And just, yeah, that's it. And it feels good. Um, and that's why I think early in the year, I lost a lot of people, a lot of people. Like it was hard, hard, really hard. And just, it, it, it it's a grieving process when you do lose people that you, you think are going to be in your corner for a while. And it's like, ugh. It's a heart, it's almost like a heartbreak. And I think this year I went through quite a bit 
of heartbreak, honestly. Not only in just losing people in terms of friends and people I had close with me, but just even relationships. I don't talk about that often, but just, ugh. Like, dating is hard. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what how people do it these days. Like, I've done it. I was in two different things this year, and I was like, play hell, man. This is just the worst. <laughs> It's just too much. It's like, I don't know. Like, we'll see what happens, but I don't know. Like, at the moment, I'm turning 25 next month, and I'm like, bloody hell, man. I feel old. I feel... I don't know how I feel about this dating scene. <laughs> Another thing in life that I, I guess is a massive change that's coming, and I don't mind sharing this with you guys, but because I've spoken about this with you guys previously in terms of work and stuff. That's what we're going to go into. I've basically been made redundant. So I am in the process of looking for something new. Um, I'm still working, which is nice, but they haven't given us a timeline of when things are going to go through. So it's like, thank you for telling us right before Christmas and New Year. But also, in a way, now that the anger and the pain has worn off from that announcement, I'm sort of like trying to look at it in a good light because there are so many things I do want to achieve in the New Year that are my own things, like my own hobbies. As everyone knows, I am writing a book and it's taken forever to write, but I've changed my work schedule at the moment to make sure I have one day off to just dedicate to writing, which has been amazing. And I think it's been so good. Like I've, I will say just for now, we are up to chapter four, which is nice. We're getting into the juicy parts now. First four chapters I knew was going to be hard because it's exposition, setting up the story, and ugh, it's a pain. <laughs> but finally, we're getting to the good part. So I'm going to hope that next year we're going to get a lot of writing done. And by the end of the year, or maybe we'll do a mid-year review. Who knows? We did mid-year review last year. We didn't get to do it this year, but maybe we'll do another mid-year review next year and I'll let you guys have an update. <laughs> and just even with the whole setup with my PC, I'm hoping that I can find a job that will be able to sustain me, will, will be able to get me, like, the money and the savings that I want. But I also want to be able to live my life. This year, in terms of my job, I did not live. I was overworked, burnt out, and just so stressed every single day. And I think it's also to do with a lot of things happening in the world at the moment, with the living crisis, whether it's in Australia or any other country. I think a lot of people are suffering at the moment. And it's just... <sighs> It's so hard. I think, I know a lot of older generation are like just complaining that us youngins are really struggling or like not struggling, but like we're complaining, but it's really hard. Like everyone knows that I live with my parents and I want to move out. However, the renting price is ridiculous. I, you know, I want my own place to call home. Like even though this is my home, this is my childhood home, but I want my own place. I want to move out and I want to start making memories of my own for myself. And just, you know, living. But this year it felt like it wasn't. It was just survival after check after check. And it was just like... It's a lot. And it's just... Anno it's annoying that it has to be like that. Though there are other things in the world that are going on that has also emotionally just... Uh, I think been a lot draining. Especially... I will say it. The genocide in, in Palestine is so draining to watch. And see no action being taken. Um... As people know, I'm very much an activist. I hate it when there is misjudgment in the world. And I know people are going to come for me for this. But I understand that people were lost in Israel. That shouldn't have happened. However, that does not mean that genocide should occur and a whole race should be re uh, wiped out. So, <sighs> I know a lot of people are going to come for me in the comments for that. But I'm just going to say it. A whole group of people should not be wiped out just for that. And yeah, I think just in general, it's just been a tough year, I think, for everybody. Going back to what I was talking about, burnout, it, it, and I guess we can talk about it too, it's just the, I think going overseas really opened my mind into how I haven't been living. Instead, I've just been surviving, whether that's mentally or just working and I'm not actually living my life. That really opened my eyes to it. Going to Sri Lanka was such a an incredible blessing. Thank you to my sister who really planned out that whole trip. It was so beautiful. I got to meet family I haven't actually met ever. So I've never been overseas. It was my first overseas trip. And to be able to meet family who I've I've heard of, 
I've seen them on FaceTime, but never in person. And to able to be able to meet them, um, so many aunties, uncles, cousins, was such a blessing. And it was so nice to meet everybody. And it just opened my eyes to how life is different in, I guess, other countries. Um, seeing when my parents grew up, like, watching my mum cry when we went to her home, like, to where my grandpa grew up, her father, and where he worked. And um, basically what happened was we went into a tea factory. It was so beautiful just seeing it and the smell. So we walked into where they were sorting the tea out and when they dry it, and she just burst into tears and she just cried and she was just saying, talking about how the smell was such a strong memory of all like her basically my grandpa was the manager of a tea factory so when they were younger they grew up around the tea factory and the workers so she was saying and recalling memories of running through the aisles of and spending time with uh, my papa in the office and stuff and it's just oh it was such a blessing especially just to see my parents so happy and relaxed and getting to see their home again because it's been so long, um, was such a blessing. And I think for me, again, as well, just realized, like, how very little I'm living and just surviving, whether it's, again, off paycheck or if it's just just being exhausted and not being able to do things by the weekend. Because I'll be so worked off, like, burnt out by the end of the week. Friday comes, I'll go to the office, obviously, spend time with my friends after work, go home, and then Saturday I am burnt out, I'm exhausted, and then Sunday again, also recovering again, and then it's another week. And it's just, I don't like that because I want to live, I want to just, I would like to live more in 2024 than just survive it. So I'm, yeah, again, I have many hopes that I have to try and many dreams I want to achieve. So I would really like to write more, live more properly in 2024 and also just find a job again that can just support me like properly because I feel like I wasn't very well supported in the job that I have and I'm, I'm ready to find somewhere that will really support me for having the skills that I have and also just support me and not... <laughs> not be a toxic work environment so yeah anyway going back to this year's review of our channel it's been a lot I think I want to try and do better next year I keep saying that but I just I really want to do better in terms of streaming and whatever it is I need to do to try and just do be better for you guys because again uh, this what I do I do it for the love of it but I also feel like I have a responsibility to, to you guys because you guys are such an incredible community. You guys have supported me non-stop, which I'm so grateful for. Um, and I hope I can do better because I, I really do. This community means the world. It's something I appreciate so much in my life. And I'm hoping I can do more and do better. So let's hope 2024 we're able to do better <laughs> and um, I, I guess achieve more. Again, I have big hopes to just write more. Um, this book means so much to me. I've been dry. I the idea came to me when I was thirteen. It didn't be. It didn't come to fruition until last year. I started writing it ages ago, but only last year did it pop up in my mind how I wanted the end to happen. And it was after I think a very big event too. I was thinking about it one night, and then boom. The way I wanted it to end came to me because I, I never start fully writing a series until I know exactly where it's going to the very end. I don't know. I think that's just my brain, the way it works. And I came up with it and I was like, you know what? That's it. That's the ending. That's that's what I need to do. That's that's my end goal. Um, and just getting <laughs> getting into the writing of it has been difficult, but I really want to do better and I really want to work on this book more and I really want to work hard so that I can release this story. This story means so much to me. The characters in this book mean so much to me. Um, and I'm just hoping people enjoy it. But I do want to work hard. That's a dream of mine to one day publish and just, you know, release my story. And I hope people <laughs> will like it. But anyway, <laughs> we've talked a lot today. I haven't talked this much in a long time. But yeah, I think 2023, it was, I think a really good year for learning. I think last year too. Last year was the stepping stone. This year was like the hard work. Like just getting through it, working hard, whether it was through work or whether it was through, you know, therapy or mental health stuff. 
And I, I think I'm proud of myself for putting myself out there in certain ways and just fulfilling a lot of things internally for myself, things I haven't done before and just I'm proud of myself and I just hope that I can do more in 2024 and learn even just to be okay with just being with me. I've been like just with myself for so long. I have my small group of friends, that's all I need now. Um, and I think just being okay with me, like that's something I've, I'm really proud of how much development I've made in myself this year, but I think just being more, um, having more belief in myself. Cause again, that imposter syndrome has been really, I've been struggling with a lot. So I just hope I can be better and just hope that, um, yeah, 2024 can be better. But yeah, I guess I just want to say thank you again, everybody for being such an incredible community. I really appreciate all your support constantly. It means the absolute world. Again, I hope we can do better in 2024 <laughs> and make more content together. Um, and also just be kind to yourselves. Again, I know 2023 was tough. I'm not sure if it was for everybody, but if it was, just be, just look back and think on how hard you worked to get to the end of this year. You are loved, you are so blessed, um, and just remember life is precious, remember to appreciate the people who are around you, and yeah, just all the best for 2024, um, and also just remember to love yourselves, and remember that your dreams are worthwhile, that's so important to remember, um, and go after what you love most, and what you want most, that's what matters in life. Anyway, enough of this, <laughs> thank you guys for joining. Um, all the best for 2024, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Praise Bingo, out.